Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to our Humane Education Program. My name is Katie and I'm the Director of Adoptions at the Southampton Animal Shelter Foundation. We have some great things in store for you today. We're going to teach you about animal shelters and take you on a virtual tour of the shelter. My best friend Minnie Moo will be helping me out today. Hello Minnie Moo! Hi kids, my name is Minnie Moo and I'm a Southampton Animal Shelter alumni. I was once a shelter dog and now I'm a family dog. I was adopted. Minnie Moo and I actually met at the Southampton Animal Shelter. We got along very well, so I adopted her into my family. Minnie Moo, do you want to tell your story and let the kids know what an animal shelter is? I have a sad story with a very happy ending. I was originally born at a puppy mill in the South. Puppy mills are bad breeding factories where us dogs are treated horribly. We are never let outside and my whole life would have been spent in a cage forever. Thankfully, a rescuer found me and my family and friends got us out. The puppy mill was shut down and we were all saved by the animal shelter. An animal shelter is temporary housing for pets like me who don't have a home of their own. An animal shelter takes care of us, loves us, feeds us, and cleans us. And when we're ready, they find us a home where we will be loved and taken care of forever. Minnie Moo, we know you are a dog, but what other animals does the Southampton Animal Shelter take care of? Oh, all types of pets can end up at an animal shelter. Dogs, cats, small animals, even like bunnies. At the animal shelter, I had kitty friends. My favorite kitty was named Gizmo. He was three times the size I am. I also met small pets, such as Andy the guinea pig, Mikey a bird, a hamster named Randy, and even a snake named Kyle. I drew a drawing of all my friends finding forever homes. Can you add my friends into your drawing? Let's take out our crayons and let's add Andy, Mikey, Randy, Kyle, and Gizmo with their new families. Minnie Moo, how do pets like you end up homeless? Pets like me can end up homeless for many different reasons. Some of my friends at the shelter were found as strays. They were just walking around on the streets with no family to take care of them. Others were given up by their owners, which is called an owner surrender. This can happen because their owners might have to have moved and pets weren't allowed. And sadly, some owners can get sick and then they can't care for their pets anymore. For whatever the reason, some owners get rid of their pets. It's not nice sometimes, and sometimes the owners just have to, but it's very scary as a pet to lose your home and your family, and we're happy to have the animal shelter to take care of us in our time of need. Some pets are also at the animal shelter because they were rescued, like me. They were not in a good home or situation before, and they needed to be rescued. Now at the animal shelter, we have the opportunity for a good life. Minnie Moo, what is it like living at an animal shelter? Let's go on a virtual tour and I'll tell you all about it. Welcome to the Southampton Animal Shelter. This is the outside of the shelter. This is where the dogs go for walks around the shelter and hang out with all the wonderful staff at the shelter. Inside, we have the adoption desk and all these wonderful people are called the adoption coordinators. They are the ones that help us pets find forever families. Next. I'm going to take you into the catios, where all the kitties live. Some kitties prefer to live in groups, while other kitties want their own private suites. The catios are a lot of fun, and the kitties are either sleeping or playing all day long. Now, I'll show you where the dogs live. The dogs live in what they call dog kennels. They sleep in here with nice comfy beds. And we can bark at each other all day long if we want. The dogs have amazing dog trainers at the shelter and kennel staff that take them on walks. The trainers also teach us cool things like how to walk on a leash properly, how to sit, and maybe sometimes for some dogs, how not to jump on people. The trainers also have play groups with the dogs so the dogs can get outside and have fun and play with each other and it's just a big old good old time. Look at those dogs having so much fun. Next, we're gonna go into our wellness clinic and wave hello to our veterinarians. They take such good care of all of the pets at the shelter. 
they help us if we don't feel well, and they keep us updated on very important things like vaccines. They are the best vets and all the pets love them so much. The shelter looks for great families to adopt us. Families have to pass an adoption standards to make sure that the pet and the family are the perfect match for each other. In this exercise, let's talk about a pet you would like to adopt from an animal shelter. Let's take out a blank piece of paper and your markers, crayons, or even paints. What would your perfect pet look like? Would it be a small dog like me? Or would it be a big dog that has lots of fur? Would it be a guinea pig like Andy? Or a bird like Mikey? Draw a picture of your perfect pet and let's write a couple sentences on why you picked that pet. Wow, that's a wonderful drawing. You're such a good artist. In the next segment, we will talk about caring for a pet. Let's say you adopt your perfect pet from the animal shelter. What will you need at home to make the pet feel comfortable? What will you need for feeding time? What about cleaning time? What animal will need a bone? A dog or a hamster? Of course you're right, a dog. A dog needs a bone. What pet will need love? Hmm, well that's easy. The answer is all of them. All pets need love. 